Hello everyone, today in this video I will be discussing you the most important question in the module 4 which has been repeated a lot of times in the previous paper yet very easy to memorize but people don't uh, get to see the pattern what is there and they don't see how it is to be memorized so they end up uh, spending a lot of time and forgetting the concepts let me make it clear for you it's an easy concept uh, let's have a look at that and make sure you like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and let's get started so in the module 4 what do we have is the map radius execution steps with a neat sketch okay so uh, you need to remember it in this way like uh, whatever uh, the question they have asked which is about the map radius there you need some input and you'll be reducing it and sending an output this much is clear for you first is the input right so input you're getting from some storage you'll have some storage from there you are getting an input you're processing it and you are sending an output to another storage that's what it's the uh, initial flow so from hdfs you'll be getting an input which you will be then uh, processing something now that something has some steps after that finally you will have an output and two hdfs okay so only we are concerned about the input uh, processing sides also they have asked to explain it with a neat sketch right so how do we explain it uh, with a neat sketch is that uh, the neat sketch will be made but what are the execution steps input means you can uh, explain it in, explain it in this form from hdfs we are getting uh, some data which is of some file format and that is a very large data and it is very much unstructured data so we have to make it uh, a, more, a bit more organized and structured so that it can be mapped to some key value pair and then reduced it so this much things you have to write in the initial part okay what you need to write in the uh, upcoming part is after the input you have to process it the first part of processing is the split read record and map split means whatever the input you have you will be splitting it into smaller pieces and then you will be taking each of those record and then you will be mapping it these three th these three are the steps you have to write here splitting the input and then reading the record and then mapping it okay then what you have the combination combination after you have mapped all of the, those things you'll be combining it in mapping also you can write a lot of theory concepts regarding what is mapping in mapping which concept is getting used the key value uh, concept is getting used to fetch any value you need a key pair and each key is assigned to a particular value and then what all those keys can have how it is stored in which structure it is stored all those things you can write by using the knowledge of key value store as well okay so after that uh, you'll be having that combined thing then you have to shuffle those uh, nodes and the uh, other notes and this notes as well like uh, many uh, input parallel parallel it's happening and whichever is a common input that will be taken into a single consideration so for that you will be using the shuffling process after that you have to sort it according to the alphabetical order or according to the frequency of the word occurred okay based on that you will be having an idea of which is the relevant data which is the irrelevant data after you have done the sorting you are coming to the main topic which is the reduce reduce means like how we compress the file right like uh, if the file is we will be doing it zip form right like that only will be reducing it so it will be applying some algorithms and then we'll be reducing the data and then that data will be uh, sent to the output files which will be sent back to the hdfs okay so this is all what you have to write and write the steps in between so repeat with me the steps input from hdfs and those will be getting split read record and map after that they will be combining after you have combined all of this you'll be shuffling those things up and down and then you'll be sorting it after you have sorted you'll be doing the main thing which is the reduction reduce and then uh, you are ready with the data you'll be sending to the output that's all for this video make sure the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time.